Welcome to Learning Automator at PirateSchool.com. It's the uh, the usual host here, Elliot Baring. Now, you're probably thinking, Automator, isn't that a little bit techy for you? You're just sort of like the creative pro apps guy. Um, well, yeah, it's true, but I've just read a lot of tutorials. I've just got the Peach Pit book. And Automator is so cool um, that even sort of people with some serious mental limitations can figure it out. So today we're going to look at a workflow for renaming files. Now in particular you will recognize these. You import some pictures off a camera. Why are they named like that? It doesn't make any sense. Well with a click of a button we can automatically rename them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the top image and shift select the bottom image because I want to rename them all. I right click and I choose more automator create workflow. Now this will launch Automator and then the first action is automatically added get specific finder items. Now the next thing we want to do is find an action for renaming files so all I do is make sure action selected and in the search just search rena rename finder items. It's that easy. Then I just click drag it to the workflow and it's going to say this action will change the names of the finder items passed onto it. Would you like to add a copy finder items action so that the copies are changed and the originals are preserved? Well, normally I wouldn't bother, but for this example, I'm going to say add. Now, with this spe um, specific tutorial, it had me stumped for about the first 10 minutes because it wouldn't freaking work. But what you might notice is these two actions are linked, but this one and then onto the copy finder items, they're not linked. So here's how we get around it. Just drag copy finder items above it and you can see that they're linked but now I want to drag it in between the two and drop it. Now we can see that they're linked properly so this sort of flow chart is going to work now. So what I want to do is it to get these finder items then I'm going to choose to copy them to I'm going to create a new place so I click other and then on the desktop it's going to be called renamed images. I'm going to click create, open. Now when it starts to rename them we can say okay do we add date or time, change the text, well I want to make them se sequential. Okay so I'm going to add a new name as well and this was my trip to Sydney so I'm going to add Sydney and now it will be Sydney 1 dot blah 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 blah. Now I'm going to make um, start numbers at 1, yep separated by a dash, it's ready to go so what you're about to see is these images be renamed and uh, th this is going to be an automated process which is clever really when you think about it, they call the program automator. Anyway to do this all we do is we click run so as you can see it will tick when it's on a process and then beep at the end when it's finished so now if I open renamed images Oh my god, it's renamed them. Sydney 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So now I know what they are, and they're in a sequential order. How cool is that? Now, you might be thinking, well, the amount of time it took you to create that automated workflow, well, I might as well just rename them. Well, we can save this workflow. So we just go File, Save as Plugin, and we'll just call this Rename. And it's going to be a plugin for the Finder. So it's, I'm going to call it Rename Images. I'm going to click save. Okay, so this is done. We can close Automator. Now, if I go back to my random picks and let's just delete what's in the renamed images folder, and I select all my images. Now, all I have to do is right click, more, Automator, and then click on rename Im images. You can see it's added as a plugin. So you can see, it shows you the progress up here. And we're done. There we go, renamed images. So there you go, a nice little script for you. Have a play around with it. You soon get hooked on this because it sort of makes you feel slightly more talented and geeky than you actually are. Um, and, you know, podcast, 
at pirateschool.com. Love hearing from you, and I'll catch you later. Bye.